Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempted. Today I'm going to be quickly showing you how to add an intro to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So right here I have a folder just named Game and it has a folder inside it called Game Files and inside that is our game of course. When you press P you move around and yeah that's about it. Not very exciting. What we're going to be doing though is before we get to play this um, we're going to have a little video pop up with your custom made intro that you want to put on. So, I've recently made a similar tutorial, how to make a cutscene, um, but that is a little different. And even though this technique is similar, the way you set it up is slightly different as well. So, I'm going to open up a new blend file. Then we're going to set up our scene, so like we had for the cutscene. So, we don't want the cube, we want to add a plane press S to scale and then SX to scale on the X axes and we'll press numpad 7 and press Control alt and numpad 0 and I'm going to press GZ until I get it all the way down to something like that I'm going to change this to Blender Game GLSL animation frame rate of 60 and I'm going to set the world color to black just so we don't have these annoying borders here also what you could do you could also turn down the resolution if you think that is necessary apart from that though we're going to go to textured view then we're going to scroll along we're going to give it a new material um, we have to be careful of this name here so uh, I'm just going to call it screen although you may as well call it intro uh, make sure you've spelt it like that because we'll have to enter it in again in a property in just a bit. So I'm going to select shadeless here and uh, we may as well turn off back facing. Then we're going to give it a new texture, image or movie and we'll select UV. Now we can just open up any random texture to make sure it's working nicely so why not this one? Okay, so we'll press numpad 7 as you can see nothing's popping up so we need to press tab and then U and unwrap and there we go, there is our movie um, squished out on a plane and so now the next thing we need to do is go to our game logic and then to our um, plane here which we should probably call screen we're going to add an always sensor on true and a python controller join the two up we're going to give it three properties the first one is going to be material and that's going to be a string. Second one will be a just called movie. That'll be a string. Last one will be called loop. Oh, not lop. Loop. Like so. That's going to be boolean. So that's either true or false. So we'll make that a bit smaller now. And um, the material we used for this, if you go along here, is just intro. So we'll just type in intro. It is caps sensitive so make sure you enter that correctly uh, and then next thing we want to do is add in our script so in the description will be a link for the script you can download it if you like and then you can just go under text you can just go open text block and you can find it and open it or you can just get it all copy it and then make a new script here call it intro.py and then you can just paste it in like so Okay, so just um, control V and that should paste in like that. Make sure you have version 2.6, uh, 2.49, it won't work for this or won't work for Blender 2.7, so make sure you have the right one, how oh, you should do. Then the next thing we want to do is in the script, we're going to select it and then the next thing before we do anything else is we have to go to file and click save as and we'll call this intro. We want to save it in our desktop under our game and we don't want to save it in the game files, we want to save it out here so the player clicks that first. So we'll click save as blend file and then now what we have is our folder and then in that is our intro and in our game files is our actual game. So in our intro here we need to paste the video we want to play with this intro in the same location. So I'm just going to quickly grab a video from here so maybe this one right here and I'm just going to drag that in there okay so I'll close that and now we have 
our file here. Uh, notice how it's spelt, plant kingdom logo dot mp4. So we'll go back into our blend file and here we'll type in plant kingdom logo dot mp4 like so and um, this will be cap sensitive as well and I've spelled it wrong so it's not going to work okay there we go plant kingdom logo dot mp4 so make sure you spelt that exactly the same as for our actual file otherwise it won't be able to retrieve it uh, with the script okay so now if we set up everything right and we go to texture view and press P there we go there's a little animation uh, pops up and then we have that pop up and then once it's finished it just stays still and does nothing but what we want it to do once it's finished is actually open up the game file so we can play our game so to do that we're gonna have to do one thing and that is first of all find out how long it is so click on it and I'm guessing 9 seconds and 10 just oh it says it down here so around 10 seconds maybe 11 so we're gonna open up our calculator here and we're gonna type in 11 and then times it by 60 because uh, 60 animation frames a second also 60 logic ticks a second and that gives us a total of 660 so we're gonna go back into blender we're gonna make a new property this one's gonna be called timer uh, this is gonna be an integer and we're gonna set that to 660 then we're gonna add a property on this side it's gonna be adding to our timer minus one and we're going to add an and controller and join that up and join that to the property then on this side we'll add a property when it's equal to timer or when timer is equal to zero uh, you can select tap if you want you can just leave it off it works either way and then on this side we're going to add a game actuator start game from file and we'll join those two up and then here we want to click in here go into our game files select our game and click accept okay so if we did that all right that should be working so now if we press P we have our little logo going and that comes out zooms out and we have our title and there we go there's our game so that was a little long if you want to keep track of how the time is going you can go to your render settings here scroll down go all the way down to debug properties click on that and then also what you have to do is select this eye in the property you want to see so if you want to see these properties as well you can put them in as well now when you press P that all on the top left hand corner you can see the timer is gradually getting smaller as we go there we go 200 100 and it's finished and there we go once it reaches zero our game starts and that is basically how you do an intro so this was meant to be a fairly short video sort of joined in with the cutscene video hopefully you found it helpful if you did be sure to leave a like a comment or share all of that stuff is greatly appreciated i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one